She says, in your experience, how many migraine medicines does a patient have to fail before insurance companies will approve Botox for migraine improvement? So it's, it's generally they have to fail. And well, first of all, I hate the term a patient fails because patients don't fail anything. Drugs fail patients, patients don't fail drugs. All right? But I know what you mean, that's just common parlance. So, so typically speaking, the patient has to not respond to or not tolerate uh, a migraine medicine from multiple different classes. So for example, one blood pressure medicine, one anti-seizure medicine, um, something like this. And what I do when I'm writing a letter uh, to insurance to say, hey, listen, this person has uh, chronic migraines without aura and they have tried and failed multiple medicines. And I list every medicine they've ever tried. Tylenol, ibuprofen, steroids, any antidepressant could be used to treat uh, migraines. So any, if they were on Zoloft, I, I write that down. Um, any antispasmodic, if they were on Baclofen, I write that down. Uh, if they ever took in a uh, prescription abortive agent, so every Imitrex, Maxalt, all of those, I write down. Um, and then any anti-seizure medicine used for any form of pain. So things like Topamax and uh, things like Neurontin and Lyrica, we list all of those. Uh, if, if in, and then I explained that despite all of these efforts, the patient has ongoing migraines. Uh, and oftentimes the insurance wants to hear that they're having more than 20 migraines in a month or more than 15 migraines in a month um, and that each migraine is lasting for at least four hours. And so if that's true, then you include all this information and then you send that to the insurance and oftentimes we are successful in getting approval.